Here is your latest Africa news update. My view is that Donald Trump is contributing in this debate which is going on. And in the process of contribution, Donald Trump make a similar contribution that were made by white people, all of them, in the hearings, in the public hearings. Donald Trump is not saying anything we have not heard from white people in all the hearings. I even commented and said, I'm still to meet a white person who support expropriation of land without compensation. So why are you shocked? I see leaders of the EFF and everybody responding to Donald Trump. I don't have time for nonsense. I expected this. And more backlash is going to come. If South Africans are not ready to expropriate the land because they are scared of sanctions, they are scared of blacklash, then don't vote for the EFF. Because you vote for us, we're going to expropriate land. And Donald Trump will come for us. And Britain will come for us. And the EU will come for us. I said, and I said this throughout my life in the movement, that for everything good comes the pain before. If you're not prepared, South Africa, to take the pain, then forget about the land. Donald Trump has not said anything extreme. Things are still going to come. I hope the Zuma group in the ANC, which is supporting this thing, they know the consequences. We know the consequences. We know that the first response will be killing. They will kill us for that. So we know that death is the first price we are prepared to pay. The second price we are prepared to pay for this land is poverty. They will close taps. But if there is a conviction, if there is a conviction and not sloganeering and public opinions, then we must be prepared for everything. It's a war. We must be prepared for Donald Trump and all of them. We are not scared of them. While we, we remain unshaken. Actually, we are more determined after the Donald Trump tweet to expropriate our land without compensation. There is no white genocide here. It's an absolute rubbish to say there is white uh, genocide. There is black genocide in the USA. They are killing black people in the USA. There is black genocide here in South Africa. Black people are being killed all the time. A farmer has been sentenced to life now recently for having killed a farm worker. Imagine if it was a black person sent life for having killed a white person. It will be news all over. But this black person was killed and a white farmer sent to prison for long time in jail. It's once off reporting and it's done. There is no scientific evidence that points to any uh, white genocide in South Africa. It's not true. And we're not scared of such things. We're not going to be distracted by anyone. Only death will stop us. Not Trump, not poverty, not sanctions. We have, we have all of them in our mind. We know the consequences of what we're asking for. We know it. And it's not like we're going into this thing without knowing uh, the consequences. So Afri Forum is the embassy of the USA. If you want issues to reach USA, go to Afri Forum. Then you shall get a proper response. But otherwise, uh, Afri Forum is nothing to us. We're not scared of uh, Afri Forum. Uh, we're continuing business as usual. No, that we are not this. Uh, uh, Twitter revolutionaries mm -hmm. who, who, who say all sorts of things about Donald Trump. If you were to say to them, all of them, let's go to the U.S. Embassy, none of them will come. Mm -hmm. They tweet from their comfort uh, uh, beds uh, with bed heaters. So we, we, we are on the streets. We were fighting this thing on the streets. We are on the picket lines. That's why we're not shaking. We know this is what people want. And if there is anyone who's in this thing without knowing the consequences, then you are in the wrong place.
Do you have any African news tips? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to get the latest African news.